Yeah, so that's the end of the test. I'm sorry, Billy. I can't continue the test. I'm going to have to stop it. Yeah, because that passed. Welcome to another video. So today we've got another driving mock test and this week it's Billy the Goat. So Billy the Goat, do you want to tell the viewers a bit about yourself and a bit about your driving? No, not really. Yeah, introduce yourself to the viewers, let them know. You just introduce myself to oh, did, How did I introduce you? You said we've got Billy the Goat. Yeah, tell them how old you are and... Uh, why do they need to know like, the immigration? Why do they need to know my age for? No, just tell them in it. This guy's this age, he started driving. Wow. In the UK, I'm 20, in it? Okay, so in the UK, you're 20? Yeah. So, how long have you been learning to drive for? Like, way too long, bro, way too long. The thing is, I can actually drive, bro. You just don't want to give me, book my test for some reason. I don't know why it's taking long for. So, you think you're ready for the I test? I know, I, you know I'm as well. I'm like playing games. How many lessons have you had, approximately? I don't even know, so I lost count. How many? Approximately, give an approximation. No clue, you told me. How many do you think I've I had? I mean, you've had about 63 with me lessons. Why are you lying and for? With I've, another I've, instructor, how many have you had? Bro, I've had like five with you, Max. I don't know how many lessons I've had. I, love, I keep losing counts, though. Too many, though. Way too many. Way too many. How much have you spent about on your lessons? Let's not even talk about it. Is it too much? Way too much, bro. How much of all? Too much, man. Way too much. So how much have you spent approximately? I don't want to talk about it. Some people have spent like a grand, three, four hundred quid, one and a half K, some even two grand. How much have you spent on lessons? Like 15K. 15K. Okay, so... Bro, you think that Montclair paid for itself, bro? That Montclair you're wearing, you think that paid for itself? That's my driver lesson money, bro. That Rolex in your wrist, that's my driver lesson money, bro. Show them the Rolex, right? That's my driving lesson money, bro. What can I do, though? It's, you need to improve on your driving. But now, do you feel your test ready? I've been test ready, like, 9K, 9,000 pounds ago, bro. All right, that's fine. So what we'll do is, um, I'll give you a mock test. So let's see how it goes. At the end of the test, we'll go over the mistakes. So have you learned the tell-me questions? Tell-me question? Um, I guess so. Okay. How much tyre tread depth should be on the car tyres? How much what? Tyre tread depth. Tire thread depth. Tread depth. That's like 1.6. Well done. And also, how do you ensure that it's safe to be used on roads? Obviously, you, you'll never know unless you try in it. Just go on the roads and see, see, see how it ends up. Now, how how do you know? Go on. Have a give a guess. Now you never, you never really. Let's see. One thing my mom told me in life is like you never know unless you try in it. So you'll never know if the tires are safe to be driven on. Unless you actually drive, and if you die, you die in it. But if you don't, then you don't in it. That's life, bro. Nah, but how do you know? How do you ensure that? Bro, you're not safe? listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening. I say you'll never know until you try. But before starting a journey, you can check them. So how? how can you check them and see that it's safe to be used on roads? I don't know. I just give them a bit of a kick in it. Nah, there shouldn't be no cuts or bulges. That's bulges. The, yeah. The lava. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. Let's get going then. Let's go, let's go. Boom. Let's go. To switch the engine on, you've got to put your clutch in. Billy doesn't put his clutch in to start the car. I'm going to have to mark it as a serious, as I had to step in and help him. I gave him plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah, switch the car on. It's not on. Is it on? Is it on? It's a driving test, I can't even take it Why is it not making that sound? Have you got petrol in there? There's petrol in there, there's diesel inside, there's plenty. I don't know, why is it actually not on? Huh? Seriously, no, seriously, why is it actually not on? Was it on? Was it actually on? Do you want me to help you? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually being serious. Why is it not actually on? Hey, one second. Is there like a button to press? 
So shall I help you out? Yeah, go on. Okay, so put, put your clutch in. You need to put your clutch in to switch it on. I swear the clutch will be in. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. When he tries to move off, Billy leaves his foot on the brake so the car switches off. He really didn't know what's going on here. Cut the cameras for a second. What's actually happening? Hmm? Cut the cameras for a second. What's actually happening? No, it's good, man. Why is the car not moving? Bro, forget the cameras for a second. I'm being serious, bro. Why is the car not moving? Bro? This guy is a waste. Because we're in a parked position and moving off from left to right, you gotta check that right blind spot. Billy doesn't check it. Which way am I going? Why is it thing? He pulls out the wrong time from this junction and slows down both vehicles approaching on our right and left. What's my looking at? Where is man? At the roundabout coming, we're going to be turning left. On approach to this roundabout, he signals too early. Apart from that, he done it well without crashing. Taking the first exit, turning left. Straight ahead, sanctioned To go straight ahead at this roundabout, both lanes are used to go straight ahead. Billy should have just stayed in the left lane, but he moves over to the right. It ain't marked on as he moved over safely. You don't need to look back, bro. I mean, I'm driving, you're good, bro. Trust me. When I'm driving, you're good, I trust me. Don't worry. Don't worry about nothing else, bro. Just make a little notes. He changes the gear very late, and also when changing gears he's applying gas. Billy should position himself fully to the right lane. He slightly goes over to the left, but then does correct his position. Even though the speed limit's 30, approaching the cameras Billy's over speeding. I had to break from my ends myself, and save him from getting a ticket. Slow down, slow down. He ends up taking both hands off the steering. I was just about to grab it, but he does put them back on. I'm gonna have to give it as a serious as he was very unsafe. Never drive non handed. He doesn't up the gear and leaves it too late. I had to intervene. Okay, you need to change the gear a lot earlier. It's true, it's true, it's true. I keep forgetting. So, when are you meant to change the gear? When it gets to, uh, I don't, I can't remember. How many revs? Two thousand. Two thousand. Whenever there's two lanes that go to the same direction, you should stick to the left lane, as the right lane will be used as an overtaking lane. Billy's been driving in an overtaking lane for quite a while, and vehicles are undertaking him, so I have to move him back over. Okay, we're gonna move safely over to the left lane. Ease off, check your mirrors. Straight ahead. This roundabout Billy approaches it in the left lane, but as he enters the roundabout he drifts over to the right, but then does correct his position. I'm good man, I don't need to check. Approaching these traffic lights, he doesn't stop at the line, and also after stopping, he rolls back slightly, so picks two minors. See if I was on a lesson, I want to just bust that red light, I can't answer. Don't let you do that, innit? Do you, bust, do you have ever bust a red light before? You can't. 
What if someone's crossing and then you're on the now, Obviously, if someone's crossing, I wouldn't have done that. After turning left at this roundabout, he's driving in the middle of both lanes. Is marked down as a serious. Had there been a vehicle in the opposite lane, it would have caused an accident. Rearrange. This guy loves writing, but making bare notes. This guy just stays writing. I know what kind of guy he was in school, you know. He was that kid, never said a word, just making notes, 247. Never said a word, did he? You the guy, you done the homework before she even said the homework. I know you're that kind of guy still. You the kind of guy that would do the homework in lesson and ask for more. I know what kind of guy you are. Guys making bare notes, man. Why is she making notes, bro? Just focus on your driving, please. You need to focus on my driving. At this mini roundabout coming, we're going to be turning left. Turning left? Turning man. left. Say no more. That's light, that's light, that's light. At this roundabout, Billy was about to pull out at the wrong time when he wasn't safe, so I had to step in. I was waiting, bro. What's wrong with you? I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you did fast, how did your fast score? How was your day being? Alhamdulillah, obviously fasting in Ramadan. How's he fast? When are you finding it difficult? Bro, is it martial arts be easy, but it's the easiest year of Ramadan so far. Think about it, bro. When I was growing up, yeah, obviously I'm a bit older than you, innit? So back in my days, bro, when we were fasting, like, like my wife had to break at like 10 pm, bro. But there were times, that would, bro, there were times where iftar time was basically next to the whole time, bro. Like two hours different, bro. You know what How I mean? Years ago, was that? This is back in, back in the day, back in the days, bro. Like, G. There was a point in time where fasting was actually, bro, it was so hard. But this is easy, bro. Man, I'm breaking at like 6 p.m. and that. It's a light work, so it's light work, I can't lie to you. But back in my day, it was hard. It was hard. Now, eating if tough was a hook. You don't know about that one. You don't know about eating if tough was a hook. It's peak still. It's peak. So follow signs to wheel turn. Billy's driving too far out to the right. I had to tell him to move over to the centre of his lane. He did use an excuse about parked vehicles, but when passing parked vehicles, you only leave a meter of space. To where? Wheelton. Wheelton. Yeah. But what kind of ends we, is this? You need to drive to the centre of your own lane. Bro, I'm in my lane. There's parked cars on the side. I don't want to be too close to the parked cars. So to the left. Straight ahead. Straight second ahead. exit. Straight ahead. Yeah, I heard you, I heard you the first time, mate. On a zebra crossing, if there's pedestrians waiting on the red aisle or even crossing, you gotta wait. Billy doesn't stop, so I have to break from my ends. What you do? Oh my days, bro! They were waiting for me. Oh, this guy's violated. Why would you? You need to select the first gear. No, what you need to do here is understand that I got this under control. We need to stop flipping. Stop pressing the brakes under without my permission. He does check his mirrors but doesn't signal off when exiting the roundabout. That's bad, disrespectful. They were gonna wait for me, but I guess a zebra crossing. It's very dangerous that. What is what, what if they're crossing and then you run them over? So what? Tell me why I had to wait for them. You need to wait for them because tell me why, tell when, me when they're on the red aisle, you gotta wait for them. That's the law. Why not? Because they have priority over us. But why not? That's the rule of the oh, that's the rule of the road and you gotta abide by it. Me There's no if so buts. Zebra crossing. I don't really I don't really I'm not a big fan of zebra crossings. And why they even why they even call zebra crossings? That's the rule. Because they're coloured in that way, black and white. Yeah but there's no zebras in the UK. So when it's safe to do so I'd like you to pull up on the left hand side. But what if I don't want to? Do I have to? So when you find it safe, pull up on the left hand side. Do I have to? On the test, the examiners will tell you to pull up on the left hand side a few times. You should pull up close to the curb. Billy pulls up on top of the pavement. See, no more, man. He ends up stalling because he's not applying enough gas. 
can move off when you're ready. Yeah, I'm off done. Yeah. Let me know as we move off when you're ready. And when moving off, he doesn't check over his right blind spot, and there's a vehicle approaching behind us, so I had to brake. Stop, 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 there's a vehicle coming. Yeah, he's waiting for me, bro. Okay, check that right blind spot. I can see, yes. Signal right. I and was signaling right yeah. before you stopped me. And then move. I don't know why he stopped me. I knew he was going to wait for me. Why did he stop me? I had to stop you. I promise you he didn't. That vehicle behind was coming and approaching. Yeah, he was waiting for me. I saw him. We made eye contact through the mirror, bro. They weren't waiting for you at Would all. You be, why did he wait for me then? They had to stop because we no, were coming he was into wait, the road. he was waiting for me, G. Don't be scared, bro. It's okay. Don't be scared, bro. I've got you, bro. You're not going to crash when, when I'm driving, I promise you. You might not understand what I'm doing. Because obviously, I learned to drive back in Lagos in Nigeria. Innit? So the way we drive over there is different over here. But we need to understand this. When I'm driving, bro, you're safe. Always be safe. How many lessons do you think we've done together? Probably about, <coughs> maybe about approximately 10. And have we crashed? Have I ever crashed a car ever? That's honestly, honestly, yes or no, I've ever crashed a car. That's because I've Only yes or no. Yes or no, I've ever crashed I have a car. To keep into yes or no. Have I crashed your car? You were close to Yes crashing. or no. Have I crashed your car? With the help Yes or no. Have I crashed your car in any lessons we've done? No, with the help yes of Yes or no. With the help I, all I wanna hear is yes or no. That's all I wanna hear. Have I crashed your car, yes or no? Yes, you Yes have. or no, uh, have I crashed yes, your car? You, yes, you would have Brother! No or no, have I crashed your car since you've been doing lessons, bro? No, I haven't crashed your car. Your car's perfect, no scratches, no nothing. Are you still alive? Yes, I'm still alive. Yes, simple, that's all that matters, bro. <coughs> it's not about driving, it's not about following the rules of the road, it's about staying alive, bro. You, turning, don't, you don't know about Michael Jackson? Turning right uh, on the traffic uh, 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 Turning uh, right Staying on alive, the... staying alive. You don't know that song? Bro? Turning right on the traffic Turning right, yeah. Alright then, say no more, say no more. I can, I can do that. I can. As we turn in right at the traffic lights, Billy should position more close to the centre line. So like I said bro, when it comes to driving, yeah, like obviously in the UK you don't care about like following the rules of the road, but in where I'm from it's just about staying alive. Staying alive. How, staying how alive. do you stay alive? Is uh, by following uh, the rules. Uh, uh, staying alive. Staying alive. Uh, staying alive. Staying alive. I don't know. Be like that if you want to be like that. Isn't it? I'm not trying to make a fun. You stay alive by following the rules? Nah, man. The rules are made to be broken still. He oversteers and gets too close to the curb on the right. When turning left here, he does check his mirrors and signals in time. Taking the next road on the left. Taking the next oh, road. Oh, you see that on the, on the road? Yeah. What was that bird? Yeah. Oh, yo. Turning left. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Calm down, mate. He doesn't steer enough. Due to this, he doesn't follow the curb around. Turning left here. When checking his mirrors, he steers completely into the opposite lane. Again when turning, he doesn't steer enough and turns wide. And also he's in fourth gear. He does stall but he does react well after stalling. Luckily there were no vehicles behind that were affected, else this would have been a serious fault. You look so scared, bro. Why, why are you jumping up and down like that? Following the bend to the right. <laughs> why did you jump up and down like that? Following the bend to the right. I had to intervene twice here. After passing the parked vehicles, he doesn't steer back into his own lane and he's leaving it too late to change the gear. 
Okay, you need to stick into your own. I'm stick in my lane. Now. lane. I'm in my lane. Oh, you need to change the gear a lot earlier. Yeah, that's true. Driving lessons, you know? like what, what life lessons have you learned from driving? He's approaching the bend too fast, and there's parked vehicles on the opposite side, so I had to tell him to slow down. And also, he's driving into the opposite lane. He does use an excuse that there's pedestrians on the road, but they were on the pavement. Slow down, slow down. So you need to stick to your own. Yeah, but they were on the road, so I to go. They were on the road, didn't they? Look, he's on the road, that's why I'm in the middle. Do you get what I mean? After this bend there's a hump bridge, and you gotta approach him slow, because you can't see what's on the opposite side. Billy's approaching it too fast. Hello. Following the bend to the left. Bro, I swear to God, sometimes Following I feel... The bend to the left. I don't even feel like you're a real human sometimes, bro. You feel like a chat GPT, bro. See, my man's on the road, but I Slow down, bit. slow down. You need to slow down, break, break. Why slow down? Break. For what? For what? Because you can't see anything from the opposite you side. You can't see because you ain't got your glasses. I can see, bro. Get your glasses, you'll be able to see. I'm good, man. I'm good. Just calm down. Calm down. Following the bend to the left. Bro, just calm down. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. But like I was saying, like, sometimes you don't act like a real human, bro. You move like, like, like chat GPT, like your AI generator. You're a real person, man. He pulls out the wrong time from this junction and slows the vehicle down behind us and also after turning he leaves it late again to change the gear so I had to help him I'm looking bro You changed the gear earlier, you changed it too late He picks three driving faults at this roundabout he hesitates when he was safe and he should have faced the car to the inside of the roundabout but faces it to the left also, he's a bit too slow going around it. Because it's safe and clear, we should be building our speed and progressing away. He builds his speed really slow. And when changing gears, he's applying gas. When stopping behind a vehicle in traffic, you should use a tyres and tarmac rule, which means you can see the other car's tyres and a bit of ground under. Billy leaves a safe gap between the vehicle in front. Both lanes go straight ahead. Billy should be in the left lane. He's in middle of both lanes. It's only marked down as a minor fault, as no vehicles try to use that right lane. When moving off in traffic, you should check both mirrors to look out for cyclists. He doesn't check the mirrors. Even though the speed limit on this road's 30, he goes over the speed limit right under the cameras, so I had to brake from my ends. Slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down. At this roundabout to go straight ahead, you need to be in the left lane. Billy is in the left lane, but as we enter in the roundabout, he drifts over to the right, so I had to tell him to stick to his own lane. Need to stick to the left lane. Okay, 
Before steering out from parked vehicles, you should check your centre and right mirror. And before steering back in, you should check your centre and left. Billy does good mirror checks. So here I'm going to ask Billy one of the show me questions, which he doesn't have any problems with. Show me how to open and close your windows. Open and close my windows? Yeah. Which one? My one? Yeah. What kind of question is that? What kind of question was that? It's a question. What things are playing Simon Says? I'd like you show me how to open and close your window. Okay, shortly I'll be telling you to carry out the emergency stop. When I say stop, you need to stop as quick as you can. Is that okay? If you say so. He does stop firm enough but doesn't put his clutch in. The emergency stop should be done showing full control. And remember guys, the examiners won't be expecting you to check the mirrors before braking. He or she will make sure it's safe before they tell you to stop. Stop! Stop! So I won't be telling you to do that again. Move off when you're ready. Move off when you're ready. Move off when you're ready. I'm not ready. Okay, you can go now. I'm not ready. Right, let's go. <coughs> Are you ready? You sure, yeah? When moving off after the emergency stop, you must check both blind spots. Billy doesn't check them. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. Taking the next road on the right. Turning right at this junction, Billy turns on the wrong side of the road. It's fine, it's okay. I'm gently stopped. I'm gonna stop the test here, because I can't continue it. After driving for around 20 minutes, let's find out what Billy thought about his driving. To neutral. Let's just switch the car off. Yeah, so that's the end of the test. I'm sorry, Billy. I can't continue the test. I'm gonna have to stop it. Yeah, because I passed. No, there's too many serious faults. Too many serious faults. And they, them serious faults are danger to be, obviously, to, to be on the road is too dangerous. It could actually cause a collision, an accident. So, I didn't, so how come I didn't cause a collision with them? No, that's because I keep intervening. No, 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 you no, keep no. driving on the opposite side of the road as that's, well. That's not true. Even when there's sometimes when there's not that's parked not vehicles, you're still driving on the opposite side of the road. That's not and true. when there's parked vehicles on the left, even then you're meant to leave only a meter between the left, and you're leaving a lot more than a meter. You're driving a lot further out onto the road, and it's very dangerous. And on that zebra crossing, there's pedestrians waiting. You have to stop, and they were even crossing, and we didn't stop. And that's very dangerous. You could end up running them over. Did you notice them faults? Yeah? Did you notice that zebra crossing fault? Okay, and also there was gear change. You got you're changing the gear way too late. You meant to change it a lot earlier. And obviously if you keep leaving if you keep leaving it that late, it was literally hitting the red line, five thousand revs. And what could that cause to the car? It could damage it. So that was another serious fault. And then when pulling out from junctions, so, so many times, like even roundabouts, that mini roundabout, I had to brake the pulling out from the junction when we started off, the car had to slow down as well. The van on the right, sorry. It wasn't a car. That had to slow down. And also that could cause a collision as well. And then 
there's too many series. That, that emergency stop, when I told you to move off, you took too much time moving off. And there's a vehicle behind as well. And if you don't move off, we're just becoming an obstruction. And before you move off, what do you need to be doing? Your blind spot checks. Did you do your blind spot checks? Yeah, then there was other serious faults as well. Um, you're over speeding on them speed cameras. Under a speed camera, you're going over the speed limit, and that's very dangerous. And you got to abide by the law and stick to the speed limit. And you're going over the speed limit right under the speed cameras. And even then, I had to I had to brake as well. So you're making too many serious faults. And blind spot checks. You're not even doing your blind spots. There's no mirrors. The gear change as well is awful. So there's too many, see, I can't continue the test. There's no way I could continue it. I didn't even test you on a manoeuvre because I couldn't test you. I didn't even have time to test you on it because there's too many serious faults, what was what were caused. And you made too many serious faults. So I couldn't test you on the manoeuvre. And also you're giving gas when changing gears as well. Yeah. So there's too many serious faults you made and you need to work on your driving a lot and you need to take more lessons and until you've improved on that, um, I can't see you for a mock test again. Is that okay? So, because you're a danger on the road, it's not even safe to be on the roads for you. So if this video has benefited you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video.